I never saw this, but I'm happy he did it. Priests dumped holy water on a Russian city from an airplane to stop all the drinking and fornication. The clergymen say that the strange operation was intended to save the souls of the sinners in the towns. The group of priests recently flew over the Russian city of Tver, T-V-E-R. They did this in a small airplane, pouring holy water through an open door on the side of the plane. The clergymen say that the strange operation was intended to save the souls of the sinners in the town by involuntarily dosing them with holy water. Local news outlet Tver News reported that the priests dumped 70 liters, that's a lot, 70 liters, spring, spring, they, they were spraying it over the, um, the city from the, water, the, uh, from the airplane, hoping that exposing the town's population to the sacred liquid would reduce the amount of drinking and fornication that takes place in that region. The whole procedure was captured on film for a local television channel. In the footage, a priest can be seen strapped to a harness, preventing him from accidentally falling out of the open door of the airplane. Father Alexander seemed to recognize the absurdity of what he was doing, but seemed confident in his mission when speaking to the reporters who tagged along. Let them laugh, we're doing our jobs, is what he said of the critics. The holy water bombing took place on Russia's Sobriety Day, an unofficial holiday that falls on September 11th of each year. A similar stunt was attempted earlier this year in Colombia, where Monsignor Ruben Dario Jaramillo Montoya, Bishop of Buenaventura Catholic Church, sprayed holy water on the struggling city from a helicopter. He said, we have to drive the devil out of Buenaventura to see if we can restore the peace and tranquility that our city has lost due to so many crimes, acts of corruption, and with so much evil and drug trafficking that invades our port, he said. Violence and poverty are on the rise in the city, and the area has been overtaken by the drug trade. Buenaventura was listed as the country's most violent city in a 2014 study, with conditions having not improved at all since then. In the case of Buenaventura, the crime plaguing the city light cannot be fixed by uh, a dosing of holy water. And likewise, the priests in Tver, Tver of Russia are fighting a losing battle. People across the world have been drinking and fornicating since prehistory. And the chances that they will stop thanks to involuntary exposure to holy water is highly unlikely. While they're trying their best, I'm sure that with that go their, their uh, prayers as well. And as we know, that's um, a very strong grace. This is by John Vibes, The Mind Unleashed Creative Commons. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.